Good morning, Teresa. Hi, good morning, Kirsten. I'm so just incredibly happy to be with you here. Um, as our WINGS Board of Directors President, you're kind of a big deal in our life in general and in the WINGS Board life. And so we're super excited to talk to you today. Um, the power of all of this remote work means that I get to be in Colorado, you get to be in Minnesota. And so I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about why you got involved with WINGS and why you care about WINGS and um, what brought you to us. Absolutely, I'd love to. So when I first learned about WINGS about five or six years ago, what first drew me to the cause was the work that we do around empowering women and providing education when it comes to reproductual and sexual health. So that was the initial draw. There are so many things that we take for granted, many of us in the United States of having access to that just aren't available to the communities we serve. So initially that just felt like a fantastic cause and a great need that I wanted to be a part of. And I will say, as I learned more about the communities we serve and the realities in Guatemala, also grown to care deeply about some of the broader societal challenges that WINGS helps um, address. So by helping prevent unintended pregnancies, seeing the impact we have on reduction in family violence, for example, or the impact we can have on malnutrition, the more I've just learned about the broader impact that our work has, that has just made me love this cause even more. So that's what brought me here and what has kept me here um, to support the great work that we do. Fantastic. And you know, you talk about that kind of like trickle down effect. And I think that we feel that really that's why we do what we do, right? We know that we have this basis of reproductive health and reproductive rights, and then that just kind of leads to all these other great outcomes for families in Guatemala. Absolutely. Um, hey, we have a cool thing to announce, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, do you want to do it? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, tell us. So <laughs> as part of our 20th anniversary, we are thrilled to announce the establishment of Sue's Legacy Circle. And for those of you who haven't had the chance to meet with or know our founder, Sue Patterson, we have just been so fortunate to have such an amazing founder from our organization. Sue is an incredible example of someone who is just tireless about giving to others and is so committed to our cause. So as part of our 20th anniversary celebration, we wanted to establish a way for people to honor and celebrate Sue and her commitment and legacy through the organization. And so we are establishing Sue's Legacy Circle and announcing that now. And that is a way for people to really help ensure that we can continue to do our fabulous work, not only now, but well into the future. It's a way that you can include WINGS as part of your legacy plan in your giving, whether that's through a bequest by will or trust, an individual retirement account, a life insurance policy or charitable trusts, and a way to really ensure that we continue impacting not only the current generations, uh, but future generations as well. So we couldn't be more excited to celebrate our founder and have another incredible way that people can commit to supporting our organization. We are super excited about this. I think that, um, I hope that we say on a really regular basis how much we appreciate our donors because truly without our donors, I mean, let's just be honest, like we, we don't exist, right? Like there's, there's just no such thing as wings without our donors. And that comes in, um, you know, in the form of donors who donate uh, a, f a few dollars at a time, all the way up to a few thousand dollars at a time. And every single one of those donors is so, we are so, so, so appreciative. You you all out there are so valuable. Um, I'm speaking to you, Teresa, you are so valuable <laughs> as, as a donor and to every one of our donors out there who supports us. I think that one of the interesting things about having an organization in Guatemala that is so supported by folks in the US is that it's this very tangible way that people can do, like physically truly do good work in a place that needs it so, so much. And so I know that you're excited about Sue's Legacy Circle. Yes. The whole board is really excited. We've been talking about it now for a while. Um, so we hope that folks, um, that folks really are excited with us and that they 
um, that they keep us in their planning. And certainly if anyone is interested, the easiest way to do that is to get in touch with our executive director, Rodrigo Barillas, or with myself, I'm the director, I forgot to say, I'm the director of communications and development. And um, we're the ones that send you all every email that you get. And so um, just get in touch with us and we can help make sure that any of those little pieces are put into place. And then Teresa, as we wrap up, um, do, you, do you wanna tell Sue happy birthday with me? Yes. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Sue. Happy we birthday, love you Sue. and appreciate you. Happy birthday. Right on. And I'm sure that she says thank you to all of the happy birthday wishes that she's going to get here in the next few days and weeks. So um, I'll just say thank you and gracias on her behalf. Um, Teresa, thank you so much for joining me. And, um, and thank you. Just thank you for being you. Thank you for existing. Absolutely. Thanks for all you do too, Kirsten. Have a great day. You too.